What's up guys, it's Laura. Today I'm doing the Orange is the New Black tag. Uh, this one I saw Little Red Reads do and commented on how great I thought it was of a tag. And so she said, awesome, do it, your tag. So I'm finally getting around to doing it. There are 10 questions and it took me a long time to think of the answers for some of the questions, but finally did it. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and share this tag with you guys. First question is, Piper. It is name a main character who you think is with the wrong character in a love triangle. This one was really difficult and I think this is the one that took me the longest to come up with an answer and I'm not even satisfied with the answer that I came up with. I chose Harry Potter and Hermione and Ginny um, as far as the love triangle. I guess there's, I don't know if there's necessarily a love triangle there, but I know a lot of people wanted Harry and Hermione to end up together and part of me did, part of me does think that like Harry and Hermione should have been together, but I really, really, really like Harry and Ginny together. So it's not like I'm disappointed or upset with who he ended up with. I think him and Ginny are perfect for each other, um, but I think everyone kind of, you know, expected Harry and Hermione to get together, but it is what it is. Question number two is Alex. Name a character who doesn't quite know how to open up about feelings. For this one, I chose Sydney Sage from the uh, Vampire Academy slash Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead. Um, one of my favorite series ever. I do still need to finish Bloodlines. Um, I haven't read the Ruby Circle yet. But um, throughout the whole series, uh, Sydney has definitely changed. Like when we first see her in Vampire Academy, she is not the same person that we follow um, through the Bloodline series. She really changes and goes through like this metamorphosis. And she does learn in, towards the end, you know, how to be more open and express herself and her emotions and feelings. Um, but for the most part, she stays kind of like a, a closed book and doesn't really let on too much. Um, so I think she was a good choice for that one. And number three is Crazy Eyes. Name a character who does some not so great things but isn't necessarily an antagonist. So for this one I chose Ames from Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen. He plays a big part of that book and um, isn't a great person um, because of kind of how he is very manipulative and creepy. Um, so he's not necessarily like one of the main players of the book by any means, but he's in it for quite a bit and yeah, he's not so great. He's really not. <laughs> Question number four is Ms. Claudette. Name a character who makes a bad first impression but you've grown to love. And for this one I chose Han Alistair from the Seven Realms series um, by Cinda Williams Chima. Uh, in the beginning of the first book, The Demon King, uh, we are introduced to Han and he's like the street gang leader slash thief slash hard ass kind of character. Um, but as you learn his story and get to see how he is and um, what, why he does what he does, your feelings for him completely change and Han's an awesome character. I absolutely think he's great. Question number five is porn stash. Name a character who you feel needs retribution for their behavior. And this one I chose who I chose based on where I am in this series, um, which I've only read the first book. So I chose Clancy Gray from The Darkest Minds by Alex Bracken. Um, I've only read the first book. I have not read the next two yet. <laughs> so like I said, I'm just going based on where in the series I am right now. And I chose Clancy because if you've read that series or the first book, then you know why I chose Clancy. He's just not a good person. And yeah, he needs to be knocked down a couple of notches. Question number six is Sophia Bursett. Name a character who puts on a strong outer exterior when they're dealing with inner turmoil. For this one, I chose Jamie Frazier from Outland. Again, this is one that I'm choosing based on where I am in the series. I am about to start book four. So I've read one, two, and three, and I'm going to start Drums of Autumn sometime soon. Um, so based on where I am right now in the series, I'm going with Jamie Frazier because one, I think it was just for that time period, um, men were not allowed to show weakness or any sort of, you know, 
anything like that in their character. They needed to always stay strong and put on this front that they are a strong, don't F with me kind of person. And I think he pulls that off wonderfully, but we do get to see the softer kind of side of him when he's alone with Claire. And yeah, Jamie Fraser. Question number seven is Nikki Nichols. Name a character who always says what they're thinking slash tough love. For this one, this was like the easiest one. I think when I was like writing down the question, I knew in my mind already I was going to be picking Jacob Black from Twilight because he doesn't F around. He just tells Bella straight up how it is and doesn't hide it and He's just cool like that, you know? So, yeah, Jacob Black, definitely not mincing his word. And question number eight is Red. Name a character who will stand up for those that they love. And for this one, I chose Ethan Waite from the Beautiful Creature series. Um, I think Ethan would absolutely do anything for the people that he loves. Obviously, Lena is gonna do whatever he can for Lena. Um, but he's just one of those characters who's very selfless, um, always thinking of others, always making sure everyone else, you know, is happy and, you know, he's there. I mean, he's there for anyone who needs him, for his friends, there for Link, he's there for Lena, his, you know, every Ethan is there for every. Number nine is Yoga Jones. Name a character who deals with some deep regret in the story. This was another one that took me quite a while to think of a character, but I'm happy with the character that I chose. Um, I went with Isaiah Walker from Crash Into You by Katie McGarry, which is part of the Pushing the Limits series. Isaiah deals with tons and tons and tons of regret in this book in regards to his relationship with Rachel, his girlfriend and just kind of how things progress and why he has regrets. I don't really want to give anything away if you haven't read it. Um, just know that you should go read it because one, Katie McGarry's books are freaking amazing and Isaiah, I think at this point, Isaiah is one of my favorite like book boyfriends ever. Like, I love me some Isaiah. And the last question, number 10 is Polly. Name a character who betrays someone and doesn't seem to give a shit. For this one, I went with Archer Finn from Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas. Um, he, his character is just kind of weird. Um, he's, he knew Selena back in the day and he was working with Nehemia and he is just not a good guy. Stuff happens and I don't like it and Selena didn't like it so stuff happened and Archer's a pfft. He's a <laughs> I don't know what else to say about Archer. Um, so that my friends is the Orange is the New Black tag. I'm not gonna tag anyone only because I don't know who watches the show if anybody um, knows these characters and wants to do this tag because they're just awesome questions or if you just want to do it because they're awesome questions you've never seen the show um, feel free to do the tag but make sure you comment below with links so that I can check it out so that my friends is it for today I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye